Hey, everybody. Mickey and his friends love fairy tales. Say, do you want to play a game where you create fairy tales of your own? Well, all right. Let's go. If you want to create a mixed-up story yourself, click Active Play. Use your remote control to choose from the pictures Toodles shows you. Then sit back and listen to Toodles' story together. Or, if you want Toodles to make a mixed-up fairy tale just for you, select Autoplay. Then sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's make our first choice. Take a close look at Toodles. Choose from a frog, a cloak, a vine, or a pillow. These choices Toodles is giving us are going to put together a really funny story. First, choose from a green potion, yucky pond scum, soap, or a cute little kitten. Wow, great choice. Now choose one of these. Lips, tweezers, a snorkel, or sushi. That's going to be so funny. Let's choose one of these items. Suction cups, a glue stick, a cow, or a beanstalk. Choosing one of these items will make your story great. Pick either a scarf, a shovel, a diaper, or a snake. Finally, let's choose one of these to complete our tale. A scarf, spiders, a blue ribbon, or a garbage can. Those were some really interesting choices. Now we have to say the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse magic words, and Toodles will mix up your choices and put together a really funny fairy tale. So repeat after me, Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. That's it. Once upon a time, Donald visited Mickey in the clubhouse. As they were talking, he accidentally drank the Professor Von Drake's kitten and turned into a frog. Donald the Frog wasn't happy about this at all. Professor Von Drake told Mickey that only Princess Daisy can turn Donald back into a duck. And only with some tweezers. Determined to help his friend, Mickey took Donald the Frog to find Daisy, who was trapped in a tall tower. But when they got there, they found that the tower was guarded by Pete. To rescue Daisy, Mickey bravely climbed up the tower using a cow. Then Mickey, Donald the Frog, and Daisy managed to escape from Pete by sliding down the tower on a snake. But Pete still chased them. He wanted Daisy back. Donald the Frog came to the rescue and tied up Pete with spiders. Finally, Daisy broke the spell and Donald the Frog turned back into himself and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Let's make our first choice. Take a close look at Toodles. Choose from a frog, a cloak, a vine, or a pillow. Now let's choose from one of these items. A tent, a shoe, a sink, or a garbage can. Hmm, interesting choices so far, I have to say. Let's see what else Toodles has for us. Some soup, an elephant, frogs, and ew, spiders. A story wouldn't be complete without one of these things. A handkerchief, a rainbow, a shovel, or a glue stick. <laughs> this story is going to be so funny. Which one of these characters should we pick now? 
Pete, Little Bo Peep, Stitch, or a magician. Those were some really interesting choices. Now we have to say the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse magic words. And Toodles will mix up your choices and put together a really funny fairy tale. So repeat after me. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. That's it. Once upon a time, Minnie Red Riding Hood came to the clubhouse to tell Mickey that Goofy had a cold. Minnie asked Mickey to come with her to visit Goofy in his garbage can. Minnie wanted to bring Goofy some of her delicious homemade frogs as a gift. Mickey thought this was a wonderful idea and they set out on a path to Goofy's. But on the very same path was Pete. He smelled Minnie's gift and wanted it all for himself. Pete tried to steal it by pretending to have a glue stick. Later, Minnie and Mickey met Donald and Daisy, who were going to visit Goofy too. After they arrived, a little old lady showed up. But it wasn't a harmless little old lady. It was Stitch. Everyone was mad at the visitor until they heard a sneeze. Turns out, the visitor caught a cold for real. So Minnie fed the visitor some of her gift that she had brought for Goofy. The visitor felt much better. Goofy felt much better, and everyone else did too. The end. Let's make our first choice. Take a close look at Toodles. Choose from a frog, a cloak, a vine, or a pillow. Hey, look at the choices Toodles is giving us. Choose either beans, diapers, laundry, or chipmunks. Let's pick one of these places. A barn, a fish tank, a basketball hoop, or a doghouse. I think I see where you're going with this story. Let's keep going and choose from one of these things. A pen, a bookshelf, a tower, or sushi. Great work so far. These are funny choices, but we still have some more decisions to make. Would you like to choose bubbles, frogs, the moon, or peanut butter? Last but not least, you will need to choose from a teddy bear, a carrot, a puppy, or ooh, a cockroach. Those were some really interesting choices. Now, you have to say the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Magic Words, and Toodles will mix up your choices and put together a really funny fairy tale. So repeat after me. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. Once upon a time, Donald visited Mickey in the clubhouse, very upset. He traded his best friend Boo Boo Chicken to a giant for some magic chipmunks. Donald missed his favorite chicken and wanted to get him back. So Donald, Mickey, and Goofy set out to rescue Boo Boo Chicken. They climbed up a huge beanstalk to find the giant who lived on a cloud in a big doghouse. Donald sneaked past the sleeping giant to find Boo Boo Chicken trapped in a sushi roll. But the giant woke up. He was very angry and chased Donald and his friends. The gang managed to cleverly slow down the giant with peanut butter. Still, the giant chased the gang all the way down the beanstalk. But it turned out that the giant was just lonely and wanted some company.
so Donald gave him a cockroach. The giant felt much better, and Donald was happy to have Boo Boo Chicken back home. Safe and sound. The end. Wow, what? Let's make our first choice. Take a close look at Toodles. Choose from a frog, a cloak, a vine, or a pillow. Let's get started by choosing from a rose, frogs, noses, or a mailbox. That's a great choice. How about selecting one of these things now? A maze, a store, a toilet, or a chicken? This is truly going to be a mixed up story. Let's mix it up even more. Choose from a red carpet, peanut butter, a cockroach, or an elephant. Look at these choices Toodles just gave us. Pick one of these to make our story really funny. A cub, a giant, a microphone, or a knight. Last but not least, we will need to end our story with a golden apple, a diaper, treasure, or pond scum. Those were some really interesting choices. Now we have to say the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse magic words, and Toodles will mix up your choices and put together a really funny fairy tale. So repeat after me. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. That's it. Once upon a time, Clarabelle came to the clubhouse to tell Mickey some terrible news. Minnie had fallen asleep for 100 years because she had picked a mailbox. Only someone who strummed a tune on a golden harp could wake Minnie up, but the golden harp was far, far away, hidden in a tricky chicken. Determined to help Minnie, Mickey headed out to find the golden harp and wake Minnie up. Very soon, he met Donald on a slippery glass bridge. How could they pass over it? The two friends managed to cross the bridge using an elephant. Then, Goofy joined Mickey and Donald to help rescue Minnie. They carefully tiptoed past a sleeping giant. And soon they found the golden harp, but Pete was blocking the way. Pete would only let the three friends pass if they gave him a diaper. They did just that, and finally, Mickey and his friends were able to take the golden harp to Minnie. They played the harp, and Minnie woke up good as new. The end. What?